a girl is pregnant. <laughs> I have gained about 10 kg. My boobs are, oh my goodness, let's talk about the boobs, guys. Boobs went from like, like this to like this. At a point, I was walking like this. <laughs> my ass also increased. And ladies and gents, two men. There are just a lot of changes down there. Everything just is coming up. So everything is expanding, <laughs> right? <laughs> I literally walk like a penguin now, like this. It feels like you're carrying a watermelon. This is a watermelon. But imagine tying this to your tummy and just try standing up or getting up. It feels like an entire workout. Hey loves, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. In case you guys are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Kelechi Mwemana and in case you are not new, in case you are a returning subscriber, hi, hello, welcome back to another video and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, um, we're still gonna continue with this whole pregnancy series because I find this quite fascinating and i feel like i just want to share my own experience so in this video we are going to be basically talking about how pregnancy changed my body basically <laughs> as you guys can see if you are not a returning subscriber a girl is pregnant <laughs> so before we bring forth this beautiful human being into this world i felt like i wanted to just sit down and talk to you guys about how uh, basically focusing on my body and how it has changed this past couple of months <laughs> and it's transformed beautifully and drastically if I may say so but I wanted to share with you guys you know how I feel what it's like basically giving you guys my own personal experiences basically so if you are interested sit back don't go anywhere and let's get right into this video so i felt like getting glammed up and filming because it's been a while since i last filmed a video to be honest with you it's been a while since i last sat down to film a video probably like over a month because it is so hard filming videos uh, especially now that you know we are a bit more heavy um, talking alone is like a huge task for me talking from the camera is a huge task for me because it's hard for me to catch my breath but we are just going to do this because we want to be as informative and as honest and as educative as possible so I got glammed up today and i'm loving it i'm liking it let me know what you guys think about this entire look my face my hair i am feeling it <laughs> so yeah um yeah let's just get right in to this video so um if you guys had been following me for a while you would know that a girl skinny <laughs> which is why i think we're able to kind of conceal the pregnancy for a couple of months um i'm still in shock and in awe that a lot of people didn't figure this out sooner however i still feel like some people knew but just didn't want to say it out if that makes sense because i feel like there was a lot of changes going on in with my skin with my face with my body and um, when I was editing, I was always so cautious with like what I'm gonna show, what I'm not gonna show. Is it showing? Is the bomb showing? <laughs> so yeah, it was it was kind of it was kind of a task for me. But if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that a girl is skinny. So definitely, the first thing that changed with my body during this pregnancy was weight gain, right? Um, my weight gain hasn't been um, significantly drastic. I don't know if, I, if I'm making sense, but I have gained weight. I, I think I, I could say that I've moved from like a size six to like now a size eight, right? However, I can't wear, I can wear a size eight dress, right? That is stretchy. I can still wear a size six dress that is stretchy. However, my waist is another story <laughs> right so um before i got pregnant i remember during my honeymoon 
um, I went, I checked myself um, and I weighed myself. So as at that time, as, uh, as in May, I weighed 58 kg. Now I'm weighing 68 kg as of this week. So um, in a space of about eight months, I have gained about 10 kg thanks to this little baby over here. Um, I mean, it's it's been a drastic change because I feel like most of this um, weight has gone to my tummy, obviously, and my boobs are, oh my goodness, let's talk about the boobs, guys. The boobs, oh my Jesus. If someone had told me that my boobs would be this huge, my boobs literally, I want to say doubled in size, but I feel like that's an underestimation. My boobs more than doubled in size, guys. It's... At a point, I was walking like this because it was kind of hard, like carrying it, if that makes sense. And I noticed this like boob change the first trimester, right? The first trimester, it was like my boobs went from like, like this to like this. And it was so obvious. It was so obvious because I did notice while filming because we didn't have my tummy was still like really flat nothing was showing the first trimester even the second trimester my tummy was still very quite flat um but the only thing people noticed was that you know girl you're 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 very full and i i did get a lot of that comment um those comments on my youtube channel which <laughs> people were like oh you're 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 looking fuller now and I kind of knew what they were talking about and it's kind of sexy if I do say so myself. I'm not mad at it in any ways. I love it the way it is right now. It's like, yes! <laughs> um, my ass also increased, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I did not squat. I did not do any of the lounges. Have you long, what they call it? No, no, no. I didn't do anything. The boobs and the ass just got bigger and i'm praying that it remains like that after we've given birth <laughs> those i think can, those are kind of where majority of the weight that i gained went into right um a little also did go to my face yeah you could see that it's slightly fuller nothing too drastic my tummy stretched in a way that I didn't think was possible and as my tummy is stretching my bikini line is also stretching like there are just a lot of changes down there if I don't want to go like TMI but like everything just is coming up because again the baby is growing right so everything is expanding <laughs> right <laughs> so basically <laughs> basically that, that is it that, that's it for there okay so another drastic change that went on like with my body um has to do with my skin guys um i do i there's a myth right there's a myth that if you're having a baby boy you are literally going to be glowing you're going to have like clearer skin um i want to believe that is true because a, gr a girl is having a baby boy um like immediately i got pregnant right um during the first trimester it was hectic but something that i was noticing with my skin because again if you guys follow me i do a lot of like beauty tutorials my skin oh my goodness i don't know what it was but I feel like taking it out and just injecting it on my skin like forever. Guys, this boy has been giving me life. He has been giving me beauty. He has been giving me flawlessness, guys. I literally don't even want to make up, if that makes sense. And I'm not mad at it at all. Like, and look at me. I mean, look at me. Look at me. I mean, if this boy is not gonna be a beauty, I don't know what, I don't know what is, right? So yeah, um, that's another major change. Um, let me know if you guys have ever experienced this. If you've experienced it with your baby girl, with your baby boy, let me know if your baby boy made you flawless, made you clear your skin. Guys, I have not had one pimp Pole, one acne. I have not had one single acne 
anything irritation on my on my face to be more specific in the last like eight months and i know that sounds mm, mm. no i have not had anything i've not had in terms of like my skincare i've been very minimal with it i do little or no skincare you know i don't do any skincare treatment or routine or whatsoever but guys it's beautiful okay guys so something else which i kind of think is one of the one of the things that i'm currently dreading right now one of i'm literally dreading this because i don't know how this is going to change back when i'm when i've given birth um another drastic change that i have gone through my body has gone through during this pregnancy has to be with like swollen feet so this started sometime in november started like during like my mid third trimester guys my leg has been swollen all my shoes don't fit anymore and i have shoes that i've been wearing for years but all of a sudden now i can't even put my legs inside the shoes for some weird reasons right um i guess like people say this is normal but i'm hoping that it changes i don't know if it changes if you guys are experienced with this let me know if this changes after you've given birth like some months um because i can't imagine having to change my shoes and my footwear and stuff from scratch i don't know how i'm going to cope with that but let me know if it changes um share with me your own experiences so that i can also learn from it yeah because we are all learning guys my shoes don't fit anymore so now i only wear like one slippers <laughs> because it's like a thong slippers and it fits me so i just wear that like i know that's like my go-to my clothes <laughs> i it's obviously it's a no-brainer my clothes don't fit anymore i had to do like um a little bit of shopping um during like my third trimester because that's when things went like from from 10 to like 100 right at a point if you guys noticed in my vlogs and in my videos i kept on saying oh i'm wearing my husband's shirt because it's comfy it's big <laughs> i was literally always wearing it every single day before i shopped because nothing that i had could fit me anymore a girl liked like really tight fitted mini skirts kind of clothes crop top all of that um i think it would be funny to do a video trying on my old clothes i don't even know how that's going to work all my mini dresses i don't even think it will pass here because it's just a complicated thing i'm hoping that you know after this i try to get back to my previous size or i try to get to a size that is or that was closer to mine basically and again another change with my body is that for some fear, for some for some for some weird reasons right the tummy becomes itchy right and that happens when it starts expanding right i didn't i didn't i know i read about this initially however i didn't experience it till um last month like i said last month was when i had like my drastic body chain like my body went from like like this big like this big to like this big and that's what you guys are seeing right here so um i read a couple of like blogs and all of that saying like you know stretch marks you know itchy tummy and i'm like what's going on how come i'm not experiencing what all these people are experiencing because i actually wanted to experience a couple of things um i just started experiencing the itchy tummy and guys oh god oh such a temptation if you guys have ever experienced a mosquito bite then you know how itchy and also how sweet it is when you just touch it and want to itch it back you know but um i don't do that what i do whenever like i feel like it's itchy is i just rub it right i kind of just rub it around 
and like massage it basically right and do something like this right i never like go itching because when you do that you're kind of also like expanding your skin and this is probably what causes i think what i think i read an article like this is what causes like stretch marks so try as much as possible not to itch but again this does happen it's it's a change that's gonna happen um try as much as possible not to scratch if you have to you could just like massage it like what i'm doing right now <laughs> like most times i when i see myself and i see my tummy and i see like how my body has changed i just start laughing because i'm like what's going on but like it's like a, it's like a, it's like an amazing um it's like a good laugh if that makes sense because i'm loving every bit of it i'm loving <laughs> you know i'm loving every second of it like it's like a new experience that i'm getting to experience and honestly i'm not mad at it so but yeah that is something that has been happening with my body um i was expecting my hands to also get bigger but i think it did but like it's like got bigger slightly now the only reason why i know that it's not like um there was no drastic change with my hands is because of my wedding ring and my wedding band i don't know if you guys can see it so my wedding ring used to be free but like free in a way that i could rotate it round and i could also rotate my wedding band round and i could take it out and put it back in till now i can still pretty much do that right i can still rotate my wedding ring i don't know if you guys can see it rotating freely right and i i can still pull it out as well but i'm not going to go through that stretch i'm gonna start panting <laughs> but yeah um to be honest with you i actually love the way that i've gained since like this whole pregnancy experience the only thing i need to kind of work on is my tummy i don't want my boobs to go down i don't want my ass to go down i just want my like tummy to go back to how it was or how it used to be okay so another change that my body is going through is in terms of i want to say temperature like my body i literally get hot easily now i get so freaking hot easily personally i'm someone who kind of loves room temperature but right now oh my goodness any small thing a girl is hot and sweaty so the ac is literally on and it's literally facing me at this point but i'm still hot so i have my bottle of cold water which i don't think is good but i have this to kind of calm me down most times and yeah like you just get hot you literally get hot easily and i think that's like um hypothermia basically you get really hot i do get really hot um easily and yeah and that's basically because your blood is pumping your heart is working like double and you know blood is pumping you know harder than it used to so like there's just a lot of things going on <laughs> obviously so let me just drink water this is another change guys i've drank like <laughs> like i said anytime i'm laughing at myself it's because i've seen the drastic change um before this pregnancy it used to be a task for me to finish one bottle of water per day yeah i was that person i literally did not like drinking water I would rather like have like juice or like a fizzy drink than drink water. Um, it was so bad that my husband started buying like really tiny bottles of water and then he got like the big bottle of water and then was forcing me <laughs> to be drinking water. So I, I was never someone who loved drinking water. Now I have three empty water bottles that i just these bottles that i just drank i have three on that table over there and i drank that from like within like three hours basically this is my fourth one right now this evening um i always get dehydrated 
I always get dehydrated and I think that is also linked to the hypothermia, me feeling always hot. So most times I'm drinking water and even when I'm drinking water, like it feels like I'm not drinking water. Like the water just disappears. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense. Like typically you drink water and you will get filled up, right? And you, you know, you, you know, when you drink water, you get filled up, right? But like, I'm literally drinking the water and I can't find it in my body. <laughs> That's something else to note. You drink a lot of water. Another change with, with my body and with me during like this pregnancy would definitely be, you know, just getting up from a chair from the bed and walking like getting out of bed and the way i walk i walk i think i think now i'm a bit more cautious but definitely the way you walk is now it's not like totally different i literally walk like a penguin now like this <laughs> my balance i'm i don't have any balance anymore because this baby right here has added like weight to me it's so it's quite difficult stabilizing the way i walk kind of is weird like i need to kind of find like my balance the way i stand up i can't even stand up like that like i would typically stand up like this but right now wow this this is quite heavy you know when they say it feels like you're carrying a watermelon let me get a watermelon this is a watermelon and this right here <laughs> is my tummy but imagine tying this to your tummy and just try standing up or getting up. It feels like an entire workout. Just for illustration purposes, um, it is quite hard getting up just like that. So most times I need like to push myself up or pull, like kind of push myself up with my hands or I get my husband or someone to pull me up, if that makes sense but um i also read that you shouldn't be standing up or getting up too quickly or you know getting up with your with your abdomen muscles because that kind of causes um what's this thing called separation of your muscles i'll write it down here my brain is not working really well <laughs> it's not been working really well these days yeah it's i so i try as much as possible to limit how much i stretch my muscles now I just let it stretch naturally. I let the baby stretch it naturally. Um, putting any more strain on it would kind of loosen the muscle walls. I'm trying to kind of limit that. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. But yeah, let me tell you, I did not prepare myself for this because this is totally weird. I'm someone who is used to like jumping out and in and out of like bed and like jumping. I'm literally like a small baby. So like I literally play around. So now I'm like, oh, don't go anywhere. Um, your body needs more rest than stress, obviously. Okay, guys, another drastic change with me has to be with my pregnancy line. I don't, I hope, I think that's what they call it, right? This one, I kind of am excited because I've seen like um, a lot of like, um, pregnant women talk about this you know when you're pregnant you have like this pregnancy dark line if you're someone of color it's quite um, obvious you tend to see it i do have that now um it has stretched it's not thick it's now dark um I'm not mad at it <laughs> i love it i'm going to show you guys what i'm talking about so you guys can see what i'm talking about but yeah i have that black pregnancy line for the first um for the first six months i thought i wasn't going to have it because then my tummy wasn't so big it hadn't stretched out so much but and then after like the seventh month my tummy went like this like it just grew so fast and i started seeing the line darken and widen and darken and widening and darken and widening and now like it's just there i have it now so I'm smiling because I don't know why I feel like it's so exciting. Like I have the line. <laughs> I feel like it's so exciting. I don't know if it's going to go. I'm not bothered about that. But you know, as we go on, there will be remedies to everything. There's always a remedy to everything. But for now, a girl is literally enjoying the entire process. 
another thing another thing to to, to point out and to notice um is your belly button guys your belly button literally pops out nobody told me this i did not know this i never expected this but like after the fifth from the fifth month when my tummy started getting a little bit big i started noticing that like my belly button started protruding out a little bit and i was someone who had like an any like my belly button was inside so like it was quite obvious to notice right so i started noticing that like my belly button was popping out right and six month seven month it was like quite obvious it's like a big i don't know if you guys can see can you see that right this thing would sell you out and you know tell the whole world that you're pregnant but like that is something to notice and to note when or if you are pregnant or you're trying to get pregnant your belly button is gonna pop out it's gonna be standing and it's going to just be just there but um so far so good i think that's about it with like the major my major body changes um i don't know if i'm going to experience more this last couple weeks guys i am literally grateful i'm more than grateful for my own experience because i know that everyone's pregnancy is different um mine has literally been one of the most i want to say beautiful um yeah i just wanted to show you share with you guys a couple of things that have changed with my body god is just awesome um the boy is really taking care of his mom and making sure that his mom is all right right <laughs> so yeah i hope this was a fun video i'll definitely see you guys in my next one till then make sure you stay fabulous and you stay blessed and yeah have an amazing day amazing night amazing morning afternoon whatever it is wherever you are stay blessed and stay beautiful bye guys